What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aluna Vane, back here today with a one and only exclusive, my very first super basic, bare bones, transgender makeup tutorial. All right, so the first steps to any makeup look is you're gonna want clear, flawless, beautiful skin. Um, if you're on estrogen or hormone replacement, you probably already have that and I'm very jealous of you. I wanna just cut it right off your face. Let me at ya, let me have your skin. I tell you what, those first few months, that first year of estrogen, it's just flawless and beautiful. And now you look at me and well, okay girl, so all I'm doing here, this is what's called primer, okay? If you haven't heard of it, it's like, it's like lube kinda for your face. It's just like, it's just like sticky, goopy stuff. So I'm just gonna get like, an amount of that. I really fucking, I really made a mess here. Um, you know, I always have terrible bags under my eyes. It's from the demons that haunt me in my sleep. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to cover those. So we have the primer on. That's it. You're done. No, wait, there's more. There's more. I lied. Okay. Uh, next up is Concealer and or foundation. Foundation, really. Um, I should mention, I am like not a name brand hoe, so don't expect me to be recommending any of the products I'm using in this video. It won't do you any good. Um, you would just be stressed out trying to find them at the Walgreens. And if they didn't work on your face and you got an allergic reaction, you'd be very upset with me. Also because like, down with the corporations, right? We don't need brands. We don't need corporations. I'll go make my own makeup out of the seaweed and whatever else. So we've done the primer, we're putting on foundation. Try and find something that matches your skin tone, you know? Um, if, if you happen to have fair skin, well then the world is built for you, congratulations on being white. It shouldn't be hard to find foundation. Um, but thankfully, we are getting so much better, and so there should be any and every skin tone out there. Okay, so one more thing. This is kind of like optional bonus points. You could definitely do this with foundation, um, but I have a little something extra for it. So what I'm, what I'm talking about is this whole mustache, beard, facial hair situation. Awkward, but everyone has it. Feel no shame, but I don't like my mustache. You can see like, this is a very vulnerable moment for me, but you can see I have like some gray right all up in here. That's my mustache. So this right here is a color corrector. Again, I'm not gonna recommend a brand, but it's literally just like peachy, just, just red. The thing is the red tone is gonna balance out the blue tone. That's colors basically, right? Okay, beautiful. So at this point, it doesn't really look like much has happened. I mean, I still look like I got hit by a bus. <sighs> Given it was a cute bus, it was like a fabulous bus, but still. The most important thing, if you're gonna wanna look feminine and beautiful, at least in my humble opinion, is blush. So you're just gonna get some blush. Again, go to your Walgreens. You're gonna be like super embarrassed and nervous at the checkout counter. You're going to lie to the store clerk and tell them that you are buying all of this for your girlfriend or as a Christmas present or something. And that's okay. You are allowed to feel shame and fear and guilt. And in some parts of the country, you are probably wise. In some parts of the world, you are probably wise to conceal your true intentions because nobody wants to get murdered. Look at how simple this is. Okay, so we put a little blush on my face. Already I am looking hot in two senses of the word. One, I'm looking quite sexually attractive. And two, I look like I am about to pass out from heat exhaustion which is true. Thus far, we've done three steps. We primed, did our foundation, we put on some blush. This is, I can go outside like this and not feel terrible about myself. This is like the look of a functioning human adult. We're gonna do some eye makeup, but don't get scared, it's super simple. 
Okay, here we are. So this is a palette, because I'm basic. I'm not gonna say who it's by, because I don't support our celebrity culture or the deification of young individuals. And so we're just gonna grab like this white right here. Okay, this is a white color. We're just gonna grab some white and just pack it in, bam, bam, right there. This might seem like a bit much, but here's the thing. If you're like me and you are a girl and you also happen to be trans, then you might have tiny eyeballs. I was cursed with tiny eyeballs. Look at how small these things are. They're like little, little spider eyes on my face. And so we need to make these look bigger or otherwise no one will ever love us. So I'm gonna take some of this white and just pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pack it right in the inner corner of my eye. Basically what we're doing here is we're creating a visual illusion to trick everyone's small reptile brains that your eyeballs here go all the way into here. That you have just ginormous eyeballs that extend into the center of your sinus. Okay, so we're gonna do eye makeup here, the other part of it. That was step one, is just like little light something something on the inner corner. So we want light on the inside, dark on the outside. You don't need to do anything fancy here. I would just like pick a color so that people know that you're wearing makeup. That was, if, if they see something natural on your face, they won't see it. If it's colorful, it'll, it'll click for them. I'm gonna pick something a bit bold here. I'm, I'm picking this purple, this, this like magenta right down here. What we're trying to do is just like elongate the eye. So open it up in here and just elongate it right there. Okay. When I was a young baby Tran, I remember being so worried of like, am I doing makeup right, you know? Like if I go to a certain place with my makeup done a certain kind of way, is everyone there gonna stop me and be like, oh, you put your makeup on like that? <laughs> like I really thought there was one specific way to do it. I'm telling you right now, there is no one specific way to do it. You can do whatever the heck. You're just born with a face and you're just, you're just painting on it with crayons, you know? Like, it doesn't really mean anything, so. Anyways, also important to note that I've only been doing my makeup for like a couple years now, like a year or two. So um, please don't at me, but if you notice anything I'm doing wrong, if any of y'all makeup gurus are watching, please like sound off in the comments. Please let these girls know. Please write a little something something or drop a link. Like I do not want to be giving people wrong information. I'm just showing y'all this is what I do. This is the information and wisdom that I wish I would have had back in the day. You know, of like, what is the most basic thing I can do? Is there a wrong way that I'm doing makeup? What is the right way? I just want to be beautiful. Make me like the other girls. Oh. Okay, so now for the last step, like super simple, mascara, love. So honestly, if I had to pick two parts of this routine to do uh, in a hurry, let's say I'm just running out the door, it would definitely be the blush. A little blush goes a long ways. And mascara, this one could not be simpler, folks. You're just gonna exercise caution, be careful, use a mirror. That's one eye. I also just bought this mascara. I have no clue what it's going to do. If my eyelashes set on fire, I'm going to blame L'Oreal Paris. And I will sue because here in America, that's what we do, honey. Um, nonetheless, that's it, folks. You're done. This is the, this is the look. Um, I know I'm not like as beautiful and as glamorous as I normally am, but that's because there's like 20 more steps to the regular process. Anyways, this is your girl, Aluna Vane. Thanks for stopping by, checking out this tutorial. Uh, subscribe to my channel, smash that bell icon. Check me out on Instagram and SoundCloud. Um, I have new music coming soon, the start of next year. It's going to be a very big deal. I think that's it. Um, okay, drop a comment. Hope this helped. All right, love you all dearly. Bye.